Hey everybody, how's it going? Having a few problems with my latest project. What I'm doing is I got this here transmitter. Just a general remote control transmitter. There we go. So there's the little receiver that goes with this transmitter. I've got it plugged into uh, some servos, which just look like that. You hook this thing up to a uh, 5 volt supply through one of these plugs and it runs the servos. Brilliant. So the problem I have with this thing is that although it's a three channel transmitter, it really only has two channels. It's got a trigger that goes back like that and forward like that. That controls only one channel and a steering wheel like that, which controls the second channel. The third channel basically has no control directly on this device. You can only program it with channel mixing to be controlled through the computer. So I've got here an Arduino Mini, 3 volt version. So here's the schematic of what I'll be putting together. The 5 volts I don't want to use. The 3 volts will be going to a 10k pot and to ground which will control the voltage here on the analog pin 0. That will be my third channel. The ground obviously goes to the ground of the Arduino and the CPU and transmitter line is cut. The CPU goes to the receive on the Arduino and the transmit on the Arduino goes to the transmitter. And obviously this is a 3 volt Arduino so we're going to power it over the 3 volt line. Alrighty, so let's wire this guy up. You can see here that I've already got the VCC and the ground connected up to the voltage rails here, which are connected all the way across the board. So I'll go ahead and connect either side of the potentiometer onto that voltage rail. The middle line of the pot, that's going to go into analog pin zero there. The 3 volt supply, that will go obviously into the red rail. Okay, and the ground will obviously go to the ground rail. And now to connect the CPU and the transmitter. So the CPU goes to the receive. transmitter goes to the transmit on the Arduino so that the Arduino can receive the signal, modify it and send it back. Alrighty, it's together. So I've programmed the Arduino using the uh, little serial cable. So let's switch her on. Buttons underneath here. Alright, so, switch it on. Not sure if you heard that, but uh, we are now receiving signal. So that went green and that snapped back into place. Let's give this a try. Nothing. Nope. Definitely nothing going on there. Let's see if we can figure out why. So let's give this thing a bit of a probing. We'll ground that off to the ground rail. And I'll see if I can reach in there and see what's coming from this thing's CPU. And there we go. We can see something there. Obviously it's not triggering nicely because this signal changes all the time. So it's overlapping itself a bit. So that's the signal coming from the CPU. Let's shift this over to what's coming out of the Arduino. And therein lies the problem. Why does that look like that? There's a lot of noise here for a start. Ah, oh, there we go. So we can see here that the signal coming out of the Arduino is actually 
much more widely spaced than the signal coming from the CPU, which is this one. So clearly the send and receive rate are not the same. CPU, Arduino. Transmitter CPU, Arduino. Something fishy there. Let's take a look at the code. Alrighty, I've been taking a look at the code for about 20 minutes now and uh, I don't think there's any problems. This board rate I know to be correct. I think I'm just going to put some other number in there and see what happens. Well, I got it working. I'm not sure what was wrong, but it wasn't working and now it works. So this is me turning the potentiometer. And that is the sound of success. My goodness me. The only thing that's really different to what I showed before is that uh, I brought all of the power wires closer to where they bridge across to the Arduino. So you can maybe underneath there see where I go across to ground and raw. I'm going to raw instead of VCC because it's already regulated voltage. I believe that was maybe a different problem I was having. So after fiddling around with the voltages for a long time, I got a relatively stable reading on the oscilloscope. So you can see here, as I turn the potentiometer, so we get our values. Very cool. I am very much happy with that. Glad that I will be able to use just one device to modify my transmitter. Awesome. Thank you very much. I hope that kind of made sense, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching guys, feel free to check out my other videos, uh, come check out the blog for more details, and let me know if you liked or didn't like this video, really appreciate any feedback at all, just starting out at this and hoping to get better. Anyway, see you next time.